throughout history, time is told by observing the position of the sun and other celestial objects in the sky. A day starts with the sun rising from the east and ends when the sun sets in the west. At night, the stars are seen to move the same as well. Why do we perceive as if the sky is moving around the earth? In this video, we will describe the effects of Earth's rotation and revolution. In this picture, you can see a star trail, which shows the apparent motion of the objects in the sky. Rotation Rotation is the circular motion of an object around a fixed line that crosses the center of this object. This line is called the axis of rotation. One interesting thing about Earth's rotation is that its axis of rotation is not straight up. In fact, it is tilted. Specifically, Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees from the perpendicular of its orbital plane. Earth completes one rotation, its rotational period, in 23 hours and 56 minutes or approximately 24 hours. This is what we call a day. Speaking of day, you often notice that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The stars in the night sky share the same motion as well. This is attributed to Earth's direction of rotation. Earth rotates eastward or from west to east. This rotational motion is known as prograde. On the other hand, if the Earth rotates on the other direction, it is known as retrograde motion. Earth's rotation is the specific cause of what we always experience, the day and night. This day and night routine is an alternating light and darkness you experience through the day. This is described as when one part of the Earth receives sunlight and therefore experiencing day, and the opposite side experiences night. However, because of Earth's tilt, different places on Earth experiences unequal lengths of days and nights. Since the Earth rotates, different parts of its surface experience different heights of the Sun at a single moment. The longer the Sun is present in the sky, the greater the amount of radiation received by the Earth's surface. This radiation is referred to as insulation short for incoming solar radiation. The angle at which sunlight enters the Earth is determined by the path of the sun in the sky. This is referred to as the angle of insulation. If the angle of insulation is close to 90 degrees, Earth's surface receives the greatest intensity of insulation. This is why it's hotter at noontime and cooler during dusk or dawn. Revolution Revolution is the movement of an object around another object. The path on which the revolving object moves is called the orbit. For the case of Earth and the other planets in the solar system, Sun is the central body where everything in the solar system revolves. The general shape of Earth's orbit around the Sun is an ellipse or oval. As was what astronomer Johannes Kepler stated in one of his three laws of planetary motion. However, even though in truth it is an ellipse, the shape is nearly circular. This means at certain times, Earth is closest to the Sun which is what we call perihelion, while at other times it is farthest which is known as aphelion. Earth revolves around the Sun in a west-to-east or counterclockwise manner, same as its rotation. The orientation of Earth's axis remains the same throughout the year. Thus, the axis points is the same direction as Earth's orbits. Earth's revolution changes a part of the surface which is tilted towards the Sun. This affects the insulation and the sun's distance from the surface. Varying amounts of insulation throughout the globe is due to two main reasons, shape of the Earth and actual tilt. 
The changing position of the Earth in its orbit causes regular shifts in the amount of sunlight received by the hemispheres. The varying amount of insulation received by a certain region in the globe throughout the year is what causes seasons, which we will discuss in the next video. If you like more of this content, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.